Hi, in this, in this video I'm going to talk about um, control data flow part 2. So in the last video we talked about um, the gate object and the switch object. And today we are going to talk about um, the user in, graphic user interface of these two objects and then uh, uh, about the back uh, object. So... Um, first of all, um, just remember that the gate takes a third or just one input and outputs um, and can have many outlets and the switch is the opposite. So you can have many inlets and but it outputs just one uh, output. Uh, so... Um, the object I want to, uh, like the graphic user interface uh, um, version of the gate is GS switch 2. And uh, same thing, it's exactly the same thing. It's just that you have this kind of uh, graphic um, user phrase, so you can actually click in order to uh, route uh, the outlet like the inlet actually um, and uh, but then you have to do the same same thing so if you if it's one so it goes here if it's zero it goes here and then here you can send uh, the same in the same way um, integers and we can also print them out boom boom boom, boom. print two Print one. Um, just for simplicity, I don't, I don't want to just uh, get the window overloaded with the ob with objects. So I'm gonna just delete uh, the the, pre the object used in the previous video. And uh, but here now you can see that if I change the number yes, and this is zero. The outlet goes to the first. The, the inlet goes to the first outlet, and if I send one, it goes to the two. Same thing. Now uh, it's possible to change the number of outputs by sending outputs here. So, and I mean, most of the time you want to, if you want to change uh, objects' behaviors. Um, just go to the in in inspector and to the reference um, of 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 this of a, a selected object. So uh, where and and this is super useful to understand and discover other um, other objects. The purpose of this video series is not to like show you all the possible objects in Max. Uh, I'm gonna show you the main ones, but you should. Um, have a good basis and methods to uh, through these videos um, to navigate in in Max and discover new objects and understand how an, a new object at something that you don't un, you don't know yet uh, um, works and um, so I would say uh, every time you want to you wonder how ah, but how can I change this object the behavior of this object like I want to change the outlets. I would say first thing go go to the inspector because probably you are gonna you're gonna find uh, your the answer. Uh, for and here uh, you have um, a message called outputs. Uh, gives you the number which gives you the number of outputs. You can also like hover the high uh, here and you have a short description. So it sets the number of outputs default value by two. Uh, this old va default value is two. So if I want to copy the previous object, I have to just send five here, and now you have five five outlets. And uh, of course, I will need the radio group if I like, or if to ch just change. Uh, I mean, send uh, and create message boxes. Basically, I need to find a way to send numbers here. And it can be done, as I said, with integer number box, uh, number boxes, integer number boxes, um, radio group, um, message, messages boxes, um, and, and and others actually, and so um, 
the other now talking about the, so this is the the graphic user user interface of the gate object the version the graphic user interface version of the switch object is called gs uh, g switch um so yeah you're gonna have many inlets and with just one out outlets so and again you can go to the inspector and change the number of inlets in our case let's say five my you know we can even change the number let's say 10 20 whatever let's keep it five um for simplicity um and uh, and yeah, same 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 process as as before. I can send many kind of data here. Here I select uh, through message boxes. So if you one, uh, two, three, four, and so on. Oops, this was wrong. Four. So if you select one, here we have the first. Uh, second, I mean everything starts with zero actually, so let's give also a zero here. So we have zero first, um, second one, third two, fourth three, fifth four. Good, and it, I don't, I don't need to 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 prove that. Just do it. Um, I don't know, just experiment a bit with that, and just to see what outputs uh, release and uh, how to and change. And I mean, every time you click on the on the object, it's gonna like go to to the next uh, inlets in a loop, basically. Same thing for, with this. Now. Um, Another super, super, super important um, object is the pack object. So most of the time we are going to receive messages that we want to combine together. We want to group together in one, in one message, in one event. Uh, and uh, other times you might uh, want to split uh, a complex message uh, in uh, um, singular uh, messages, individual messages, and the way to do to do that is uh, through the pack uh, and unpack objects. So, um, of course, there are other ways to uh, process. Uh, uh, lists basically so group of messages uh, that can be um, a group of number and uh, strings uh, or just strings or just numbers um, and uh, yeah for now I'm gonna talk about this but for instance uh, if you want to check and discover some related objects to this let's say the pack as I said before, just go to the reference and you will see that there is a label here, there is a group. So the reference consists of arguments, messages. So the arguments, messages related to, to the object and also other objects related to this. So something that is similar. Um, and I will say, you see, if you type pack, we have also pack without C that I'm going to sh actually show you. But there are other... Mm, Object like ZL and uh, join and unjoin, which do this mostly the same thing. You know, actually they are these these two are um, I would say maybe more advanced. Uh, but for this video, I'm gonna just explain these two for now. Actually, this this uh, three here because pack can be also with C and and K and um, so uh, let's let's consider the main difference between between these two guess what because if i um over in the inlets i have a red and a, a blue inlet and here i have just red inlets mm, what that means that means as you should know now if you watch the previous videos in this series um that with the C uh, pack with C, uh, basically, 
it it's I mean these two objects um, perform the same the same action, but with the C um, the pack with C basically um, triggers. Uh, the the combined um, combined elements that he received in the inlet uh, only when when it has um, when when the first inlet gets triggered. So after it combines everything, it outputs um, the list. Let's say only if something gets triggered here with the pack. Actually, everything. Uh, goes to the outlet uh, independently on which kind of inlet we send the message. So let me let me do uh, an example. So I want to let's say combine uh, pack with i i and hi. So that means that uh, I, I, I will receive for some reason um, I will receive let's say I will receive three three integer integers numbers and uh, I want to just put them together in one message. So let's say if I have like one here, one here, and one here, I'm just gonna just connect these three. So and if I hover here, I will, you will see that in int to be element one in list causes output if i hover here int to be element two in the list but nothing nothing else because you know we have a cold inlet so everything gets stored here and stays there until we trigger it and same thing, same thing for the the third inlet so let's put actually um, a message box here which is a kind of usable way when you want to display list messages and uh, you will see that let's say i want to have a list of one two and three so i put a three here nothing happens put a two here nothing happens and i put a one here it just grouped these objects uh, by saying okay this must these must be integer boxes so and we can also try to explore and uh, see if I send here a, I don't know, 3.5 or 2.99. And then I send uh, another one here. The, the floating point numbers goes casted um, to an integer because here we're saying you have to pack what kind of data flow, uh, data type, sorry, um, integer. If I put here uh, a f, which stays for float, uh, that will work. When I send one, you see, everything gets converted. So and these two are going to be integers, and this is going to be an, uh, a floating point number. Same thing. If I want to uh, store a message, let's say hello, as always, and uh, here I have to write sim or s or just s, uh, and uh, we will see that. The output is gonna be one zero zero low. Mm. That's interesting because um, you maybe would expect that it should output the, the two and three and the three point uh, uh, sorry the two and the three point four, right? But since we change the object because we add a new argument, it just the object, the the instance of that object disappear was deleted. So and also all the memory connect linked to it. So I have to re-trigger all the other numbers in order to have the complete list. So uh, what I can do is to just select one uh, this three point five. Let's say. Yeah, right, seven, whatever, and year one. And now I have all the values packed together. Same thing for the pack uh, object with just K. Uh, but basically the difference is that every time I will, ch as I did before, uh, every time I change something, so let's consider I want to have a zero, a list, uh, sorry, a symbol, so a string, and then a floating point number. So I will say here S, sorry, S, and then F. 
connect the message. And now if I change this one, uh, everything uh, gets triggered. So if I don't assign anything to this, the initial value is going to be a zero for a message. And um, uh, let me check one thing here. Because probably sim it will be the best fit. So if I, uh, yeah. I mean, it just outputs sim and it doesn't output an empty string, uh, let's say, yeah, because I would expect something like double quotes, but it didn't happen. So it just outputs what, whatever it's, it's written here. If it's not like an integer or a floating point, and which is good. So let's let's keep the S just to consistency. Uh, and and it works basically in the same, which works in the same way, but we have less characters to think of. And uh, yeah. So that's the pack and unpack, uh, basically do the opposite thing. So it's going to receive a list like this one and uh, it unpacks um, the, uh, the element of the list according to what we do, what according to the list elements that we give in the argument. So probably first one is an integer, then a symbol and then a float. Um, Maybe let's just put a message, uh, just to be sure. I mean, we might also send something different, like we can use like an integer box, uh, number box for integers, like for the first outlet, um, a message box or um, a comment for for the symbols and um, a floating a number box with floating points, uh, a floatum basically uh, for for the outlets, for this uh, third outlet. So once I click here, the message gets split up into different uh, independent uh, messages. Um, yeah, so that was it for this video. Um, I'll see you next Monday. Bye.